Welcome to Lakshmi Narayan's YouTube blog. Please subscribe to this channel if you are here for first time. India's telecommunication network is the second largest in the world by number of telephone users with 1180 million subscribers as on the 31st of January 2021. It has one of the lowest call tariffs in the world enabled by mega telecom operators and hyper competition among them. India has the world's second largest internet user base with 748 million broadband internet subscribers in the country. Major sectors of the Indian telecommunication industry are telephone. Internet and television broadcast industry in the country which is in an ongoing process of transforming into next generation network. Employs an extensive system of modern network elements such as digital telephone exchanges, mobile switching centers, media gateways and signaling gateways at the core. Interconnected by a wide variety of transmission systems using fiber optics or microwave radio relay networks. The access network, which connects the subscriber to the core, is highly diversified with different copper pair, optic fiber and wireless technologies. DTH, a relatively new broadcasting technology has attained significant popularity in the television segment. The introduction of private FM has given a fillip to the radio broadcasting in India. Telecommunication in India has greatly been supported by the INSAT system of the country, one of the largest domestic satellite systems in the world. India possesses a diversified communications system, which links all parts of the country by telephone, internet, radio, television and satellite. Indian telecom industry underwent a high pace of market liberalization and growth since the 1990s and now has become the world's most competitive and one of the fastest growing telecom markets. Telecommunication has supported the socio-economic development of India and has played a significant role to narrow down the rural-urban digital divide to some extent. It also has helped to increase the transparency of governance with the introduction of e-governance in India. The government has pragmatically used modern telecommunication facilities to deliver mass education programs for the rural folk of India. According to London-based telecom trade body GSMA, the telecom sector accounted for 6.5% of India's GDP in 2015, or about 9 lakh crore, and supported direct employment for 2.2 million people in the country. GSMA estimates that the Indian telecom sector will contribute 14.5 lakh crore to the economy and support 3 million direct jobs and 2 million indirect jobs by 2020. In today's period of progress and wealth, technological modernization is increasingly seen as a foreseen necessity for every country. With better technology and more rivalry from established businesses, telecommunications has entered a new era of development. The continuous rise of the mobile industry is linked to technological advancements in the telecommunications sector. The service provider's primary goal is to build a loyal customer base by measuring their performance and maintaining existing consumers in order to profit from their loyalty. The purpose of the paper is to address these concerns. Telecommunications in India began with the introduction of the telegraph. The Indian postal and telecom sectors are one of the world's oldest. In 1850, the first experimental electric telegraph line was started between Calcutta and Diamond Harbour. In 1851, it was opened for the use of the British East India Company. The Posts and Telegraphs Department occupied a small corner of the Public Works Department at that time. The construction of 6,400 kilometers of telegraph lines was started in November 1853. These connected Kolkata and Peshawar in the north, Agra, Mumbai through Sindhwa Ghats, and Chennai in the south, Uttakam and Bangalore. William O'Shocknessy, who pioneered the telegraph and telephone in India, belonged to the Public Works Department and worked towards the development of telecom throughout this period. A separate department was opened in 1854 when telegraph facilities were opened to the public. In 1880, two telephone companies namely the Oriental Telephone Company Limited and the Anglo-Indian Telephone Company Limited approached the Government of India to establish telephone exchange in India. The permission was refused on the grounds that the establishment of telephones was a government monopoly and that the government itself would undertake the work. 
In 1881, the government later reversed its earlier decision and a license was granted to the Oriental Telephone Company Limited of England for opening telephone exchanges at Calcutta, Bombay. Madras and Ahmedabad and the first formal telephone service was established in the country. On the 28th of January 1882, Major E. Bering, member of the Governor General of India's Council declared open the telephone exchanges in Calcutta, Bombay and Madras. The exchange in Calcutta named the Central Exchange had a total of 93 subscribers in its early stage. Later that year, Bombay also witnessed the opening of a telephone exchange.